The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to run through this one last time for today. By the way, folks, we have a really special treat today. We have a big astrological guest coming on right at the end of the show. None other than the Mr. Moon himself. He's going to be as full as a baby's face. When you see it at nine, uh, maybe late, three minutes before 12 o'clock, Eastern time, I was told, will be the exact full moon right when we're going off the air. So that's it. We'll be watching it. Anyway, I posted a chart here. Of, I have more emails and questions about this and anything I've done here in the 15 years I've been doing this show. And I don't think I'm going to do anything like this again because there's just too many questions that I can't answer. What Peter Elides was telling us, that he made the relationship between 1929, 1987, and where we are right now. What I've posted on is 1987. No one was around in 1929, even me. Anyway, uh, what he was saying is from the high – to the first big correction, which was back there on last Thursday. Remember, we were at the 61% retracement that we had hit three times in the S&P up there at that 4580 level. Okay, now we're lower than that. Now, you notice here on the right-hand side there where it says FM, that means full moon. That's today, folks. So if that's to, if this is correct, we should be starting down. And look, we, we started down from the Fibonacci level last night. And uh, that was another perfect relationship. So, so far, it's acting what it's, where it's going to go, I don't know. What we certainly want to do is we want to watch it on March the 4th, no matter where it is, because if it's worked this closely, we should follow it again. But the fact that we have this full moon today, but we also have the Federal Reserve in there. Remember, in 1987, uh, no one was watching what the Federal Reserve was doing. They didn't have, uh, you know, quantitative easing. They didn't do They were just, you know, trying to do their own job. They weren't trying to pump the market up or anything like that. But, but anyway, let's let's just get to the get to the nitty gritty on this. I I really do not know whether this is going to work or not. All I know is it's working thus far. And uh, so, you know, yesterday he said that it should start down on the 16th. And if you were up last night like I was, by golly, that was the 16th. And guess what? Right there at a new overnight high up there at uh, 4367 or 4382, there it was. And so... We're going to be paying attention to that today as we go through uh, some of these things. But that's the main thing. Uh, says, he's not seeing my chart. Uh, well, Tucker, let's do this. Let's just post it again, my boy, because you are a preferred customer here at TFNN, as all of you are. Let's get up here. Let's see if this works, and then we will go uh, to that level. So I want to go through two other charts in this sequence because it's happened before. Okay, and I just want to show you. Here, here it was, what Peter was showing. Hold on just a minute here. Get up here one second here. Everything's good now. All right. Let's get this out of the way. And I'll just put up. I'm going to put this, the thing from 1929 just for historical purposes. There's the same pattern, 38 days, 38 days. You can see the full moon there in uh, 1929. Uh, uh, and you can see that it was at a, a higher low than we were Ta da right after 38 days. So that low is at 42.65 in the S&P, folks. So I don't expect that to be hitting. But with the Fed out here, you know, anything's happening. Anyway, you notice that then we came down and then we bottomed on November the, uh, what was that? The, I think it was November 16th or 17th. Uh, we rallied up a little bit, then came down and our low there. Uh, after the October 29 crash was right around uh, the 19th, it was the 19th, I think, 11th, 11th of November. And then we went from the 11th of November, we rallied up into April Fool's Day to almost an exact 61% retracement. It was 59.6. And from, from there, folks, we went down for four years. 
uh, into the low of ni- uh, excuse me yeah three years into the low of 1932, and the Dow was trading. Remember, it was 382 back there in uh, September the third, and then on uh, September July the fifth, 1932, uh, it was trading. I believe I'll say 41, and I hope uh, Basil doesn't. Uh, it was October. Oh, I still think it was either. I get this wrong every time. Basil was, if he's still around. Basil was it fifth? Was it? I think it was October. The God darn it, Larry. July the fifth, nineteen thirty-two. It was a low right around. I know it was around forty-one or forty-two in the Dow. Fifty uh, percent of the Dow stocks had gone kaput, bankrupt. Okay, and remember, uh, we do not have an original. Dow Jones stock now, folks. General Electric is gone. That was the last one, and so that uh, and so all those stocks are gone. They and they should be because things have changed, and you know things are, you know, moving along uh, quite well in the technology field. So that's what we're paying attention to here. Now, I wanted to bring one other one to your attention too, because at that time, I'll do just just take me one second to get this puppy up here. I was doing the same thing in nineteen. 19- 87 that Peter was doing and we, we've known each other for a long time we were looking at this together he, he does a lot of astrology work I was in uh, Pismo Beach he was in Santa Rosa and uh, we were watching this Venus Uranus aspect coming in on October the 2nd and uh, it turned out pretty good now I had bought October options and I, I don't want to go through that story anyway that was an historic move it was the greatest buying opportunity of the of the 1980s because it was an exact uh, on, on the 19th of uh, November, actually their low was actually on the 20th. On the 19th of uh, on the 20th of October, I'm slurring my words. Shut the front door. On October the 20th of 1987, we were making a perfect 61% retracement of the low from August the 9th, 1982, and we've been going up ever since and so far we've still been going up so those are just a few of the things i wanted to run through that the last time now if we close strong today then by golly who knows you're just going to have to move on and uh we'll see what uh see what happens uh okay i was it was the dow jones was 40 so i knew it was <laughs> i thought it was 41 or 42 the dow jones was 40 thank you basil Okay, anyway, we'll be looking here at this for, I didn't go back to 1837, uh, Z, to look at that, because uh, you, you really didn't get really good stock market data, folks, until uh, 20 years after the Civil War, which was, uh, the Civil War ended in 1866, uh, uh, yeah, 1866, and so 1886, you started to get really good data from the New York Times and stuff, then the, shortly thereafter, the Wall Street Journal came out. And uh, but you know the, the the patterns are there. I mean, you go back historically and look at some of these wild swings, but uh, you can't disregard these numbers because they're so doggone uh, important. We're going to uh, have as our guest today Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. He'll be coming on at the break. He always has something pretty cool for us. And tomorrow we got a real special day, folks. It's Norm Winsky's birthday, and because he's been out on the internet for the last five days, plus the fact that we have all this full moon stuff, we're going to have Norm on tomorrow on his birthday. So we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to ask one, finish one more question here on this uh, scenario from 1987. I posted this chart up here. You notice that uh, on we, when we closed there on October the 16th, right before we gapped down uh, 200 points in the Dow Jones, which was a lot because it was trading at around 2,500 on its way to uh, 1666, I believe was the low. And uh, we'll be... Uh, I, whether we see something like this again, I don't really know. We probably will. Hopefully, we'll be prepared for it. But they do happen. They do give you some ideas that maybe these things do return and look at what they're doing in in the past. So I, try to try to remember that. That that's all I do with pattern recognition is to try to put the odds in my favor. That's really all I, what I'm trying to do. I really, you know, I didn't want to make a prediction on anything like this. But when Peter came out with that YouTube, that was was exactly what I've been trying to show people. I didn't do the day counts and stuff because I didn't want to get too much into the technical part of it. But once he went through it, I thought I would share with the same thing I was looking at. And what we were doing is looking at it with a little bit of mixture of the Astro. And he does do Astro. By the way, folks, you know, I had on my bucket list the number two number uh, one or number two thing, the number one thing was someday in the future there will be a segment on CNBC or Bloomberg, a whole segment, maybe five or ten minutes about the astrology stuff. It'll come from MIT, Oxford, Harvard, Yale, someplace like that. Uh, it won't be from any schools in Indiana or anything like that. But I can tell you this, I can just about check it off of my bucket list that it works because uh, someone has proven to me over the last three months, I know it's a very small sample, but for the last three months, I've, I've watched what the astro predictions have been, not just on gold and copper and uh, the stock market and commodities and stuff, but just overall in general, what's been happening, I'm, I'm very, very impressed and I hope to be able to show that to you after I get enough samples, which would be probably in the next uh, six months, I would think. But so far, 
I've seen something absolutely phenomenal on the calls. I mean, uh, there have been a few mistakes along the way, but my goodness, some of them have been absolutely spectacular. Okay, now let's move on here, take a look at a few things that I think are are super important. We looked at the uh, the DAX, and we looked at the the uh, the uh, FTSE, and you can see they're certainly rolling over to the downside on these shorter term uh, charts. So that's a very, very important thing to look at. Now, let's go through and look at some of, uh, together here, we'll look at some of these FANG stocks. Now, here's one of the, this is the most, I think on a percentage basis, this is one of the most expensive stocks in the Dow. Wow, Microsoft, 294, who would ever thunk it? Anyway, we got as high as 350. We got as low as 275. We've been in this uh, range right here. We, this is up to date pretty much. You see we're down on the day uh, so far today. That could all change if the Fed comes out and does something that no one else expects. But uh, all of these are in the downtrend. And here is uh, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, known as uh, Facebook or Metaverse, whatever you'd like to call it. We've now retraced 50% from the opening from 2014, folks. That thing opened, I believe it opened at around 60, and it went down to 29. And then the first buy, if you look at that key time frame right there, that key time frame, when we had that, now this was a weekly chart. And we had a weekly 382 retracement coming in there. It's, this was July of 2015. I happened to be in uh, Clearwater with uh, Tom, uh, staying at his condo there above the water, watching the shark swim b below us. Our uh, Sarah's son, Jackie, was with us, and he was blown away by seeing these sharks out there. Uh, feeding and it was uh, it was really quite exciting. Anyway, that was July of 2015. Many many astrological things happening there. Uh, multiple conjunctions, uh, stellium that uh, Shane talks about. But that from that key time, we took off, folks. We are we're ready. To, we, in fact, we're breaking below that 50 percent level, and the next level is down at 182. And uh, you know this thing was well loved about three weeks ago. You can see what happened. Uh, when things change and things change a lot in some of these markets and that's why you've got to be able to uh, you know be flexible you know that's the main thing now speaking of being flexible here's another one this is an interesting one from a family perspective because you'll notice the high up there in uh, at right around 700 uh, Sarah was having some minor uh, cosmetic work done here at the house and we had a very nice young man as our, our builder and he was uh, doing some work for us we put in a, a different skylight and stuff but what was happening he was long this stuff from about five hundred dollars a share and it was trading at 700 and he kept watching me over at the uh, at the desk you know and he said how about you know Netflix. So I put it up and I said, I said I'd be really careful. I said, you know, make sure that if it gets below, you know, 640. I said, you know, make sure you get out because that would break the previous week's low after making a new high. And that's that's. And I showed him what happened the last time that occurred when it dropped in half. And uh, I don't know whether he did get out or not. We haven't seen him since. So maybe he's in Acapulco. Uh, taking a break or whatever, but we never heard any more. Usually that's a good example of when you give someone information. If you don't charge anything for it, folks, they evaluate, evaluate it for what it's worth to them, which was nothing. All right, let's take a couple others that we want to watch very, very closely here. We'll get the, one of my all-time favorites up here. Here's uh, Tesla. I rode in my Tesla for the first, or my Tesla, I don't, I rode in a Tesla for the first time recently, and uh, it was a nice car, but frankly, folks, I couldn't hear the engine, so I really couldn't uh, say where that, I wouldn't buy one no matter what, because any, you know, you have to go 270 miles or 280 miles on a tank of electricity, and then you have to fill up. What happens if you're out in the middle of Egypt somewhere? Shut the front door. I don't, uh, it's not for me yet. I'm sure down the road a few years, everything's going to be good and there's not going to be more any carbon cars in the next 10 or 15 years. And then, I, well, I won't be able to drive anyway then. So it won't make a whole lot of deal, a whole, a whole lot of difference. Okay, let's take another look here. That, now, this is stock that's really interesting, folks. I, I had, <laughs> hold on just a second. I had a, hold on, let me, just a second. Uh, I'm messing up here. Just a second here, folks. All right. Any questions, 877-927-6648.
if you look here, we had the 135 declining tops. We came down, made the big ABCD there, January 24th. That's when everything bottomed. Then the news broke here uh, right around February 1st, and we made a double top. Folks, this is not a bullish chart. You know, it had all the greatest things in the world, and it's not moving. Hold it. We got a, a question on here. And the question is from Bo, and he is saying this. Do you find a 135? Okay, Bo is asking about the 135 pattern on, on this uh, chart of, the, of Google. Now, what you need, uh, ho hold on just a second. Uh, no, 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 no. Hold on just a second, I got to change something. Sorry, boys and girls, uh, hold on, I got to do something here. I have to do something. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I have to change something because we got something good happening. Hold on just a minute here. Uh, all right. If you look at this, you'll see you have the high where you have the ABCD3. Hey, we'll be right back with Jim Bart DeLeone. We'll cover this after we finish with Bart, folks. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, directly 
from the flight school for all Top Gun pilots in San Diego, California, none other than Jim Bart Bartoleone from Bart's Charts. Are you there, my friend? Well, shut up. Love, do you, do you control your music, Larry? Uh, no, no. That uh, Mr. Al, our technician, does. Why? Do you want to play something special? No, I just love that intro. I figured that's what you did. Did you see me? I'm like, da, 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 da. No, that, that's, <laughs> that, I believe that's uh, from the, uh, one of the, well, it's right out of Trading Places. I forget. It's one of the, uh, uh, one of the operas, uh, you know. What do I know about operas? You know, <laughs> I, hey, I know the one. Pavarotti. I know the. I know the one did in. I, uh, in I know the one in Nashville. You know. <laughs> absolutely. Did I ever tell you my dad and I we used to sing? Say again. You used to see Pavarotti. I ain't listening to these opera songs. Yeah, it was great. Luciano oh. Pavarotti. We we just wow. listened to him all the time when my mom was cooking dinner and everything. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. Oh, I digress. How are you, Larry? I am good. Everything is okay with you over there? Oh. I got no complaints, Larry. Life is superb. Got some cool charts for us to look at real quick if you want. Oh, hey, I had a question from the from the family here, and that is, uh, are you yeah. ever going to move back to Virginia, or are you going to make this your permanent home over there? Boy, that's a great question. It's the question of the decade. Um, yeah. I'm I'm surfing all the time. Kathy yeah. and I are so active out in San Diego. It's beautiful. Yeah. But that being said, it's a pretty it's a pretty crazy state. Yeah. So JJ's got one year left, right? Uh -huh. He's got one year left in high school, so I want to keep him in the same high school. But uh -huh. I think Kathy and I we got some decisions to make this time next year for sure. Uh -huh. okay. So I don't know right now. It's up to Okay. You. Well, listen, my friend, why don't we uh, take a look at uh, Coca-Cola now? So tell you us bet, what you're you looking bet. at here. Absolutely. I just want to double check. You can see the screen. Okay. It's all working. It's pretty cool. Yep. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's got it up okay. and running. Al's a master at it. So we're lucky there. He is. Thank you, yeah. Al. So anyway, Larry, yeah, look at, look at Coca-Cola. I mean, obviously it's been on a tear, but this is a monthly uh, since the IPO and it's completing a monthly AB equals CD and a 1.618 extension right in around the 61, 62 level. So definitely okay. one we need to, to keep an eye on because it sure looks like it could be done, believe it or not. And it's like Coca-Cola is the mainstay of American soft yeah. drinks. But AB equals CD. So uh, that's one I wanted to, to bring up to uh, to your listeners. Um, UPS is another one I've been watching. And uh, I really like that we're doing this on Skype now, Larry. It's good. You Can, yeah. can you see the chart now? Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's just like we're right in so, front of you, buddy. I uh, love it. So this is, you know, you taught me this, right? And so this one... This is a powerful one, right? So this is a weekly chart. Um, I can go to the monthly, but it doesn't look as good. But so we have a weekly 1.618 AB equals CD. We have a three drives to a top pattern. That's the blue arrows. And then we have a butterfly. It, it, it's, it's, you know, don't, don't shoot me. Maybe off a little bit, but it certainly can, can qualify one. And that's the purple. I'll come in at 240 bucks. So um, I don't know if it's top yet, but those three projections make me think we need to be waiting and be around when that when that level hits. So UPS is, uh, boy, it's interesting. The other thing you taught me and I wanted to bring up to the listeners is um, a lot of times when the AB equals CD fails, it'll come back, touch it, and get going again. And that's exactly what Coke did at about a buck eighty. It failed at the AB equals CD, and uh, it came back, touched, and then went up again. So. Uh, I look for that when, when we have the failed AB equals CD. Um, the other one that I want us to take a look at was the banking index. I just wanted us to keep this one on our, um, there we go, on our radar. Uh, it, it's, boy, it's really um, getting close, right? If, if not already top, the banks lead us up, the banks lead us down. And what I have here on the left is this blue measured move, right? Um, and I have these light blue lines just to define it, just to show people. And then all I did is copy paste it and brought it down to the low here, and uh, that exactly equal to 2018 low. And then uh -huh. obviously started down here um, at this low and go up. We're in a really really uh -huh. important zone for the banks, so yeah. I'm really watching that. Um, I did a quick Elliott wave count on it. Um, I like Elliott when it works. We've talked about that, right? But uh, <laughs> it does break one that. rule. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't you love that? I love Elliott wave when it works. Yeah. 
But it did break one world, but I'm not going to be too crazy on four overlapping one. So uh, it sure looked five waves up too. So that's a big deal. And then the last one I want us to look at is every. It's in the news. It's been part of us, um, and that's uh, that's Pfizer. Um, all I know about Pfizer, I don't know anything about the vaccine, is that it completed two A B equals CDs, and it's been reacting down. So we could have a major top for Pfizer, believe it or not, which is crazy. So. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now, Larry. Uh, any anything you want me to take a look at, or any questions, or anything? No. The only question I have for you is that you know I'm still okay. in tough in touch with uh, with Jeff, and I know you're still in touch with Rooster and stuff. But uh, yeah, I lost yeah. I lost touch with Bucky. You know, he was over there running the Kuwait uh, Air Force for many years. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. And I, and I don't know. I know he was training actively. I have to tell the story about this. You know, I met these dudes through Jim, and uh, Bucky was in Florida, and he had a chance. He was just retired from the Air Force, uh, <laughs> the Navy, just like Jim did. Sorry about that, pal. Six, one <laughs> anyway, he just, the other, Larry. Yeah, yeah, well, really, it, uh, anyway, he just retired from the Navy, and he took a job at the Kuwaiti Air Force teaching the, the, how to use the fighter pilots. I remember and he had to, yeah. he had to He had to move from uh, – Boca Raton, Florida, we had a beautiful home, and his wife and his two kids, and she says, I am not going to Kuwait. And they, he said, look, I have to go. He says, come over for six months. If we don't like it, you know, we'll come back. And she said, for six months, I can do anything. So they go over there, and first of all, he told me they, they put him in a villa that was unbelievable. He, she had a cook. She had a maid. She had a chauffeur. She got to fly to Switzerland wherever, wherever, wherever she wanted to to go shopping for anything. Uh, after five years, she says, "Well, we'll do five more years, and that's it." <laughs> <laughs> so that'll tell you. Yeah, when, they, I get guess treat, the, they get treated like gold. Yeah, yeah uh, just really something. So, anyway, I lost track of him about five years ago. I, I imagine I he's out there somewhere. Up. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you I do, tell him I said sure. hello because uh, I, I know will, Jeff's Larry. Jeff's doing really good there in Ohio, and his little baby, yep, yep. Uh, he's uh, baby's about six now. That was a sort of surprise in the family, but uh, he's yes, still doing was. great. Hey, listen, we're going to have you on again in a few weeks, and if you do something it, like Larry. this again, and hey, Jeff, 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 wait a minute, let's do one other thing at a time, Mallory. Bart, if you see any of those beautiful esoteric things you have where you do the harmonics, you know, with the music and stuff, the folks do like to see those. So if you want okay, to put one of right. those up next time because sure. you've done a great deal of research and it all matches together. Too, and, uh, too much. <laughs> yeah, we certainly appreciate it. Yeah, Larry, okay, absolutely. But, uh, I'll make sure I do that. Okay, buddy. Listen, thanks again. We'll have you on, folks. How do the folks reach you? Uh, Bart's charts, which is the best way? Uh, yeah, um, you know, my email is good, J Bartoloni. B A R T E L L O N I at Verizon.net, or they can just shoot me on my blog. Um, and I'm also going to be working with Top Gun Options, uh, my friend Wiz, and uh -huh. um, a, a easy Bart at Top Gun Options .com could work too. So, any, okay. any way they want to, Larry. I just love getting on and talking to you. I really appreciate it. Hey, wait, you bet, buddy. Call me anytime, pal. We'll see you later. Jim Bartoleone, folks, Bart's Charts. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm going to talk just a little bit about this 135 pattern for Bo and also for the rest of you folks. I'm going to be doing a, a live trading session, a full day here uh, coming up in the uh, middle of March sometime. Uh, also, I'll be in London for doing a three-day live trading session with Tom Hugard and Al Brooks and David Paul and uh oh who is the other dude yeah, that, those are the main uh, yeah that's the five of us anyway so this is what we'll be watching here you'll see uh one three five now the distance between one and three is important but it's got to be a six one eight or a seven eight six okay and then the five has to be a 50 percent or 61 or a 78 as long as it's one of those three ratios and it matches up to that number three level and gets to that level, whether it doesn't make any difference where it is, but if it gets there, that makes it a one, three, five pattern. Now, we also have a one, three, five pattern on the downside, and that's a totally different animal, but you know, I'm gonna cover all these. I've got a great PowerPoint presentation on it that's gonna be uh, showing you how to do it. It's really simple. We see these all the time, intraday, and uh, there are the maximum of you know low risk, uh, and that's basically you know what you're looking at when you're when you're looking at some of these. So that's why we're paying attention to it. So uh, I thought I'd bring it up. I hope that's what you asked about, Bo, because uh, that is what it's all about. It's very, very simple, uh, and it's not very, uh, not very hard to figure out. That's for sure. So that's it. Now let me move on here. Okay, it can be either a six one eight or a seven eight six. The reason why this pattern is so important to me is I I was a big fan of Roy Longstreet. He was the soybean king, folks, back in the fifties and sixties, and I met him in eighty four at one of the conferences in Chicago, he and his son Bill. And when I started doing my book, uh, you know, I would send charts to them, showing them, and they started seeing these numbers. And he says, what are these numbers? And so I started showing them. And they said, well, you've just, you've just destroyed us. And I said, what do you mean? And I said, that's our secret pattern. And I said, what do you mean by a secret pattern? And he said, that's the 135 pattern. And of course, one, three, five were Fibonacci numbers. I, they didn't even know that, but the fact that the one, three, and five were relationships there. And I was when I was doing my book, Astro Cycles, a trader's viewpoint, I asked him, hey, can I put this in a book? Oh, please don't do that. He said, share anything you want after we're gone, but not till after we're gone. I said, it's that important to you? I wouldn't, and I didn't until that was over. But I did, was allowed to mention 135 in the book, just as a as a non deplure or whatever you want to call it, uh, where someone would say, what the hell do you mean by a 135 pattern? Folks, I sold thousands of those books, never returned, no one was ever returned one. 
thousands of them, and not one person ever said, hey, what do you mean by a 135? I don't see a 135 in there anywhere. So that shows you some people either don't read it or they don't really care. But, you know, that's the way life is. Someday it's chicken salad and someday it's other things. All right, let's get back to a couple other things that we want to cover. I think we have a well, we've covered Facebook. Uh, we've covered Netflix. I think the last one we have to do is uh, we've covered Google. We've got to cover the Appel, and we'll get this up right here. Uh, just a second here. I've got to find it because uh, I think this is Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. And there we go. This is the one that's been holding up the Dow Jones for so very, very long. And uh, you'll notice here that we're still, we went up to the exact 78% level. You see 176. We're now trading at 170, very quiet. There is no 135 pattern here, folks, because if you were to look at it, you'll see there's no symmetry, and three, uh, five is higher than three. And so there's no 135 pattern there at all. So. That's another one that uh, – because it's got to line up perfectly, and that's why it's so good is because it gives you the maximum risk or the minimum risk uh, and the best possible risk-reward that you can get on some of these patterns, and that's why uh, we look at it so much. I've covered Tesla. I believe that was not much to look at. That's in the news quite a bit. And you can now buy tickets, I guess, on Virgin Airlines to go to outer space if you like, or you could come out here to, to – uh, Tucson, Arizona, and have a nice Mexican dinner with me. We could have a couple shots of mezcal, and you'd be doing the same thing for about a quarter of a million dollars less. And I don't even know what mezcal is, or I don't drink it, but it's uh, it's wild enough for me as it is. We've covered all of them. We covered Microsoft, Tesla, the whole bit. So that's the main ones that I wanted to uh, to cover today. The most important thing today, folks, is we got a full moon coming up in exactly 12 minutes. And I don't think anything will happen to the minute, but uh, if the market closes strong today, the, the scenario that uh, Peter and I were looking at would be uh, really not working very well. So I'd have to say, you know, that doesn't work, but that happens all the time. So that would be uh, going back to the old crow, eating crow again with you lots of garlic and a little bit of parsley, oregano, and rosemary. And it's not bad after you let it ferment for a while. So keep that in mind as we look at it. Another question that someone's asked me about here is the Dow Jones COVID thing that I've been talking about for a long time. This has not done what I thought it would do. This is what happened in COVID back in 19, 19, 2020. We made the high. Then we had the five-day rally. Folks, we didn't have a five-day rally, folks. We went out 38 calendar days. That means it was about a 28. It wasn't a 28-day rally. It was a move down and then up. That total thing took exactly 38 days. That's what Peter was looking at. That's what I was looking at. And it's, You see where it says 618 there? We hit that thing three times, folks. Three times we hit that. Then we, we came down here pretty good. But uh, nothing's happened until this market decides it wants to go lower. And as of, as of today, it, you could flip a coin. The, the S&P's got to get below 4265 for any of this to really start happening. And that's the, the whole thing to uh, to remember what we're watching as we, as we look at some of these things. I, I hope that makes a little bit of sense to you, but that's it. Unfortunately, those of you that were not able to call in, uh, tomorrow we have Norm Winsky on. It's his birthday. I'll give you a uh, – uh, okay, hold on just a second here, and I'll just get this back in uh, one second. Uh, wait here. Uh, okay, uh, all right, that's what we're looking at here. Uh, oh, oh, by golly. <laughs> by golly, there is a one three various 135 pattern happen I just got this from John Jameson folks a Skype message saying there's a 135 happening as we speak in the Nasdaq uh, so uh, take a look at it I'm sure it's probably on a uh, hourly chart because he looks at nothing less than that so uh, watch an hourly chart on Nasdaq and we might be able to do that when we come to the break here which is going to be in a few minutes and then we have that full moon coming up which will be very interesting to uh, look at also so that's the main thing that was it that was the main things i want to cover on the show what i'm going to do here when the break comes up i'm going to pull up that nasdaq chart and see if uh see if i can see what he's looking at uh, yes, I did cover gold. We're right at a Fibonacci number now in gold here at 1867. Anything above, uh, you know, 1885, 
uh, it tells you we're going to go a whole lot higher. So uh, that's the main thing that you want to uh, get ready for. But we just hit that 618, 1868 in the, uh, in the gold. Crude oil is in a world of its own, so be careful out there. So, hey, we take a little break here. When we get back, I'm going to try to pull up that NASDAQ chart, and we'll take a look at it to see if we can get that done. So uh, I'll let the commercial come up on here in just a second. And there it is. We'll be right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, uh, I've uh, posted a chart of the 135 pattern that John was uh, John Jameson was uh, highlighting because it came in uh, yesterday. Uh, well, actually, in the middle of the night, actually, is when it happened at 1 o'clock in the morning. Remember, we've got this full moon coming up here in seven minutes. Um, <laughs> nothing will happen in seven minutes, folks. I can promise you that. Maybe after the Fed's in there, but nothing right now. Anyway, as we look at this, you'll see that we have a situation where that pattern is lining up pretty nicely. You can see the harmony between one, three, and five. That's basically, you know, what we're looking at as we as we see this. We've been pointing this out here for several days, so this is just a reiteration of what we've been talking about. Uh, uh, Mr. Z's asked a question: If Jim ever uh, flew a P. 51 fighter pilot that i don't know z but i will tell you this jim's been out to see me probably 
at least eight or nine times over the years. And he always stayed at Davis Monthon Air Force Base because being a Navy pilot, he gets a lot of, you know, like preferential treatment there. They got incredible suites there for them. And uh, one of my friends, uh, Jimmy Elder, actually this Dr. Jimmy Elder, the second student that I ever had way back in 1986, uh, loved planes. And so whenever Bart would come out, Jim would be sure to come out and visit. And they would go down to the Naval, uh, excuse me, the Air Force Museum there. And they got everything there. And one of the days they got to go into a simulated lunar landing thing, which was really cool. Uh, I couldn't do it because you had to pass some real strict physical requirements, even though uh, it was during the time I was doing the Iron Man's con- uh, Iron Man competition for the seniors here. By the way, that's been con- that's been canceled this year, folks. Uh, the other two people that were in it uh, are not able to uh, do it this year. One's in a wheelchair, and the other one is in a walker. So they've canceled the Iron Man competition, which I'd won five years in a row with the three same men. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Listen, we got to have Norm Winsky on. Pay attention tomorrow, folks, because. We got a lot of stuff that uh, Norm, you know, he really works hard at this, and uh, he's got some good Astro stuff. And so if you'll come in tomorrow, ask your questions to our birthday boy, and uh, we'll be happy to talk to you then. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 